Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back, Calendar with Joy Life. Taking a look today at an app that's getting a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of traction today, getting some buzz in the media, and we just thought we'd show it to you. Um, it's called Vire Launcher, and it's a third-party launcher that obviously could replace the home experience, you know, stock home experience on your device, or you could use it in place of say another third party launcher like Nova or Apex or something like that. So it's, it's gaining traction and getting sort of some play because it does some interesting things. Now it's created by a company called Vire Labs and it's really just a preview of them showing off what they think their technology is capable of, which is like 3D effects, real time lighting, um, automatic theming of UI elements, some interesting widgets and things like that. So it's very cool. Um, it, again, it's just a preview, so it's not really, like I don't know that I would necessarily make this my home launcher of choice just because it lacks some of the things I enjoy um, currently with things like Nova, but it definitely does some interesting things that we wanted to show you. It's also free, so you might as well give it a spin and see if you like it as well. So here it is up. Uh, Again, it's called Vire Launcher, and this is sort of where the magic happens. Now, you can probably see this clock up here that says 1343, and you're probably seeing a glare in there that's probably annoying you. Now, trust me, that's not actually a glare coming from anywhere inside my office here. If I tilt this phone, you can see the glare moves across the clock. So these are some of the real-time sort of lighting effects uh, that Vire Launcher does. So that's actually happening on the device. That's not a reflection. You can see there's a reflection from inside my office. The one on the clock is actually just happening on the clock as I move the device side to side. Kind of cool, right? Um, another thing they do here is you can see they've, they've kind of gone with this theme, I believe they called outline. Now, when they say that it does real time or automatic theming, basically if you hit menu and go into settings, um, we'll show you some of this stuff in here. You can see you can hide status bar, enable reflections, which I've got going on, um, enable HD shaders, full screen transition, yada, yada, yada. But this launcher themes area is where I'm talking about. So I have it set to outline. Now I can switch that over to basic. And if I go to basic, then it goes back to sort of my stock icons look. So this is where they're saying it sort of happens automatic theming because they're able to just do that. It's not a theme pack, it's just built into the launcher. At least I assume that's what they mean. So we can go in and there's a couple, well, there's one other one, it's just called Pebble. And uh, this is what Pebble looks like. Not a huge fan of it. So while we do this demo, I'm gonna go back to this outline theme, which actually looks nice. Uh, but some other stuff in here then is home transition style, which I'll show you more of in just one second. But let's go back here to the home screen and see what we've got. So one of the cool things they've done here is an actual is is the transitions. So if we go ahead and swipe over, you can see it does a really, really nice transition there, sort of like a tile going away. It's also crazy fast. You can see if I swipe between these even at a decent pace really fast and really good. Uh, I don't know if you can also see those presses. Every time I touch and swipe, you can see there's sort of a press. So it recognizes and it shows you that I'm pressing that, which is kind of cool. Uh, a couple of things though to keep in mind, you can't create folders with this launcher. If I do that, there's no folder. I also can't just like drop a new app down here and swap it, I have to like remove one. So there's some limitations here. Again, this is I think just a preview to show off their technology. Um, you, again, you can see the sort of real time effects going on in the clock. But this clock's actually sort of cool. It's an interesting idea. If you swipe down on it, you actually get into, actually, let me just do one little swipe. So if I do one little swipe, you can actually put widgets in this thing. So I have a music widget in there, and then I also have some shortcuts. Uh, if you want to swipe down again on that, though, let's see if I can get that to happen. There we go. It extends, and there's a, another section I could add widgets or anything to. So a quick long press on there. I could go ahead and add an application, and there's a shortcut. And you can see when I went into my applications, this is also part of this automatic theming. You can see like Angry Birds is not themed right now, but if I tap that, it actually does switch to the theme on that. So again, that's sort of that automatic theming. I go ahead and swipe this up to um, get rid of it. Uh, so let's go back then and, well actually, if we go to a blank screen, I long press here, you can see there's a menu for applications, widgets, via applets, and via shortcuts. So via applets, the only thing right now is the clock. So it's this clock, which we already have on the other screen, right? Um, the other thing then is via shortcuts, which are just sort of your standard icons, which they've themed for you. And those are already, you know, well, I have a couple of them down there. I moved a couple of the other ones around. So that's sort of all you've got going on there. But where we get some more interesting stuff then is, uh, whoops, there's actually a menu button down here. Let's go into settings and uh, let's go ahead and look at some of these transitions again, because they've got some really, really, really cool ones. So well, let me see what basic is first. That's just a slide over. Okay. They do this really cool. 
sort of glass one. Let's see if I can find that. Let's see if it's crystal. This might be it. Ah, yes. So you can see it's like a giant thick piece of glass. And I don't know if you can see all these reflections and sort of the real time shading going on there. A lot of stuff going on. You actually see through the mirror of the other icons in the back there. Um, and again, if we flip through this, it's, it's really fast. It's really fast, works really well. There's no lag whatsoever. Definitely a cool looking, um, definitely cool looking transitions and some nice effects going on there. Um, I don't believe there's any other really, really awesome ones. We can do this cube one, I believe. This is sort of cool. You can just see more reflections and stuff going on there. Let's just show you another one, just to give you an idea. Uh, let's try cube free. There you go, there's another one. So it kind of zooms out, switches over. I don't know, very cool. Uh, so the other thing that they've done is change up the app drawer. So this is another sort of area where I have an issue. So it looks all themed, right? And you have this sort of outline look and you have these fancy transitions and sort of all these reflections and glowing things. And you go into the app drawer and it's sort of a boring, plain old sort of overlay window of what normal stock Android looks like. So they've got some work, again, it's just a preview, they're just trying to show you some of their cool effects. Uh, but in here you can sort it by all applications, user applications, recently used apps, most used apps. You can also sort it up or down alphabetically. Choose an app just like you normally would. So it's kind of a cool idea. Um, it definitely has a ways to go if, if you wanted to make it sort of your app um, everyday launcher. But again, I think it's just a preview of them showing off their technology. So you know, I would sort of stay tuned with this, keep an eye on it. Maybe they'll update it to give you more theme icon packs and things like that and maybe make it a more robust launcher. But for now, this is Vira Launcher. Feel free to give it a shot or give it a look and play around with some of the cool transitions. And who knows, maybe we'll see some of this stuff appear in other of our favorite launchers. So anyway, we're Droid Live, just giving you a preview of Vire Launcher. We're out. Peace.